Well, hello, Sean. My name is Tony. We've been uh, emailing calls regarding your request, and uh, what I decided to do is a video in order to explain you a little bit the idea that we have about your tour because for clients coming on a cruise is a bit more difficult than for other clients for two reasons. The first one is because they are not able to share any of our excursions because the excursions leave at around 9 o'clock, 9.30 and they are not back until 5, 5.30 and the second reason is because we always try to fit as many things as possible on the excursions that we arrange for private groups coming on the group. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain you what our idea is on a map of the island and then it will be a lot easier to understand everything that if I, rather than if I write it only on an email. Okay, here we have the map of the island of Mallorca and we need to know where two places are. First of all, the port of Palma here and then the case of Drac that are here. So, the easiest way to go is to take the main road that goes to Manacor and then to the Quays. How long does it take? It takes about an hour and ten minutes, more or less. The Quays of Drac open at ten o'clock. They have visits every hour and the visit takes about one hour, thirty minutes. The visit includes also the entrance and the option to go on one of the uh, small wooden boats across Martel's Lake. What we propose is to take the main road to go way to Manacor. Here in Manacor, if you want to, we could stop at the Majorica Pearl Factory to have a look because it's quite an interesting stop and they always give us a personal explanation about how they produce the pearls. And then we could drive to the case of Drag. We could decide at what time you want to visit the case of Drag and we could combine the visit with a small sightseeing tour around the east area, around this area, because we would like to show you how the resorts are, the fishing village of Porto Cristo, and then we would like to do some photo spots at a watchtower built in the 14th century and used against the pirates, and also we would like to stop at Calamandia, which is a small beautiful cove, so you'll see how the beaches are in the east area of Mallorca. This is an option. Another option that we have, it could be to go from Palma, passing Santa Maria, Benissalem and Conseil, way to Inca, and from Inca to drive through the inland area on the way to Manacor. Why we have two routes? Because with the second route we could explain you a few more things regarding the island and what the island offers. And we could also include a stop at Santa Maria or at Benissalem, that are two typical Mallorcan villages and we could go there for a stroll. So these are two suggestions regarding the case. Another option is to do a tour in this area, in the mountain area, which is something that we do many times with the clients. But this is only if you want, because your original request was the case of Drac or the water park. I hope that this video helps you in order to understand the different things we can do and please do not hesitate to let me know if you have more questions.